I have no idea about this more than the next person or the next person with regard to uh, international politics and the like. But I I'm speaking right now uh, at about the time when Joe Biden has decided to withdraw the troops out of Afghanistan. And it's like two days ago he made this decision and he's withdrawing these troops and almost like immediately the group that was there when we originally started, the Taliban, they are filling in to all the spaces that the U.S. was protecting in Afghanistan. And uh, what I'm seeing right now on the radio and on the television and everywhere so far, both on the right wing and the left wing stations and the right wing politicians and the left wing politicians, uh, everybody's attacking Joe Biden right now. This is a horrible debacle. This is a catastrophe, they're saying. And, you know, this is like, it reminds them of the evacuation of Vietnam, but even faster and more decisive than what happened when they pulled out of Vietnam in 1975 or whatever it was, 74. Well, you know, let's see. Vietnam, that was one of the biggest errors that the United States government ever made. And if you look at the whole situation in Vietnam, there was, you know, Ho Chi Minh wanted to become an ally to the United States after World War II, but we snubbed him, so he turned to Russia. And then we attacked Vietnam. That was a horrible miscalculation, stupidity, and arrogant mistake by the United States. So now we're looking at what happened after that, is uh, if you go to any clothing stores, or at least discount clothing stores, Half of the clothes there are made in Vietnam. You know, we're we're now friends and buddies with Vietnam. Did they turn into a horrible communist dictatorship? No, no. They are what they always were, which is a rural kind of a agrarian place where they grow a lot of rice, and and, and they aren't very political at all. You know, and and in the long run, the best thing we could have done. For Vietnam was get the hell out of there. You know, they didn't need a bunch of craters pocking up their whole neighbor, their whole area. So now we're looking at Afghanistan, okay? And everybody on the right, everybody on the left, all these, oh, this is, a, we got to fight. We got to, you know, China could be our enemy and, and Russia, you know, they're going to, they love us moving out of there and, you know, they're, they're screaming bloody murder, you know. Why does China have to be our enemy, first of all? I mean, yeah. I mean, China lives over there. We live over here. We don't need to be enemies with them. But besides that, Afghanistan. You know, as we pulled out of there, the government deserted. All the big shots in the government got on planes and flew away. Said, well, you're not staying here. You know, and, and then the... Afghani army that we spent a trillion dollars training, 100, 200,000 men, whatever it was, they all just said, threw down their guns and said, we're joining the Taliban. In other words, we did nothing but waste our time and our money even thinking that they were going to be on our side in any way, shape, or form. You know, I, I, why did we get in there? Well, it was started out with another horrible American miscalculation, which was the invasion of Iraq. When Kuwait was invaded by Iraq, we turned around. Oh, look at that oil that, 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 Osama, what was his name? Uh, uh, Saddam Hussein was going to get. So we didn't like Saddam Hussein. He, he was a, he was the Bath Party, which was fascist, he, they said. And so we invaded Iraq. We bombed all their supply lines and, we freed Kuwait while the kings and princes of Kuwait were in Paris dancing at discotheques, right? The Americans came in and gave them back their country. But, in re you know, we stationed troops in Saudi Arabia, which is what really pissed off Osama bin Laden. And uh, so he got together in Afghanistan and put together the Al-Qaeda 
and they attacked the United States and bombed the World Trade Center and brought them to the ground, and that pissed off the United States. So we went and invaded Afghanistan, and we got rid of Osama bin Laden, you know. So that should have been the end of it really right there. When Osama bin Laden was taken out, that, then they, the next day they should have withdrew, started withdrawing troops from Afghanistan, even though he was in Pakistan, I guess. <laughs> but the, the point being, we brought that on ourselves somewhat because we had no business going into Iraq. We had some business going into Afghanistan because they bombed our, our buildings. And then once we cleared the place out, we should have got out of there right then. You know, and this is kind of the point when, when we're withdrawing. And what uh, the only thing, only criticism I have of Joe Biden at this point is he should say as as a parting shot as he's, we're leaving, look, if you guys come after us again, we're going to come right back here and do the same thing again. You know, if you want to if you want to fight, we will bring the fight to you. Just remember that. So you just stay over here in your place, and we'll stay over there in our place. That should be Joe Biden's message to the Afghanis, to the to the Taliban. And and I, what I'm seeing right now is a bunch of war hawks and mamsy pamsy hand ringers. Ooh, we can't get, we can't do stuff, you know. And then the war hawks. We gotta have military there. Which we might have to kill China eventually. You know, all these war hawks, and they're on both sides, the right and the left. All these military guys coming out and saying, why did we even give our lives up to this place? Well, we did. We, it, it was the first mistake was invading Iraq, okay? But beyond that, we, we taught the people of Afghanistan that we, we're bad. We can kill, kick your butts when we need to, you know? And... and and now it's time to leave. And you know what might happen? I don't know. It's not going to be like Vietnam, I don't think. I don't think Afghanistan's going to be selling clothes to the United States in, in 30 years. I, I, I think Afghanistan is a is a rural, backwoods, ignorant place. And, and, and to be honest with you, and, and this is going to get me in trouble maybe, but the, 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 the real problem involved in all this besides American business and military, the military industrial complex. The real, the biggest problem though, is Islam. Islam, I, if you, the best way to view Islam is as a disease. And that's, you know, what are you going to do? You can control the disease, you could try to wipe it out, but th that's not going to happen. So I think Joe Biden is right on this. I think he's doing the right thing. He, he does need to make that parting shot though.